In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Ableton Live's MIDI preferences for keyboards or controllers. Brett Pontecorvo here from LiveKeyboardist.com where I help keyboard players just like you with the ins and outs of live performance software, with building a stable live keyboard rig, and with sound design. If you're new here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. All right, so the preferences in Ableton are actually quite simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the preferences and the Mac shortcut for that is command comma. Now up here we have some things that are not totally relevant to this video, so I wanna focus on what's going on down here. Now this first area here says MIDI, but really what it means is MIDI control. So if you have a controller like Ableton Push or perhaps you have a launch control of some sort, um, this is where you would set all of that stuff up. Now by default, most of the time, with the exception of very certain specific controllers, I don't want any knobs or faders pre-mapped because we don't want any accidents, right? So if you set input or output to none, then you won't have any pre-maps. So that's my suggestion for what to do. Now let's jump down here because the meat and bones of all of the Ableton preferences are in these MIDI ports. So there are four things going on here. Track, which means keys. Sync, which means time. Remote, which means MIDI controls. And MPE. Now, neither of my keyboards actually support MPE, so we're going to leave those unchecked. But check this out. Right now, I've got Virtual Pianist loaded up in this channel strip. And if I play a note on this particular patch, you are going to hear it play. Okay, but the moment I uncheck this track button and hit a key, you will get no sound. And that's because we have disabled it. So if you want to play a keyboard on Ableton, you need to go to your import and check track. Now, if you want to control something within Ableton, you need to check the input remote. So for example, perhaps I want to control the dark light of this virtual pianist plugin. Well, if I go into MIDI mapping mode and I map a fader, I'm going to have control over that. However, if I uncheck remote, that very same control will no longer work. And that's because we have disabled it. Now, once you have everything set up correctly, which always really comes down to, are your MIDI imports set up correct? You also have the ability to separate out things into two different channels. So, Virtual Pianist right now is set up to have MIDI from all inputs, but I can choose just Key Lab. And then when I play, I will get it from my Key Lab, but if I play my Akai, no sound at all. So if I want to have a secondary instrument on a different channel strip, that's very easy to do. So if I just load in another instrument on this channel strip here, I can set the MIDI input to be my Akai. And now I can have complete separation of these two different things. So it's really easy to get your Ableton preference set up. Thank you so much for watching. If you got value out of this video, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you next time at LiveKeyboardist.com.